Hello guys, this is Anish Fidjia with another tutorial and this is on UV mapping and modeling. So yeah, uh, so I have this thing set up here for you guys and it's basically, yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very, this is an armor helmet which is very low poly, normally people have like subby rides everywhere and yeah, it's it, it's not good because it can, it can increase the amount of lag you have so I always try to optimize my models when I sell stuff. So yeah, as you can see now, uh, these are just some other things. Okay, so first off, let's make uh, let's do the UV mapping the basics and how to UV map, UV map a basic character. So let's load in a texture. So let's just get a normal texture PNG. Make sure you have all the settings the same as me to get the best quality or whatever. And the alpha channel just because I want to show you something. Um, and yeah, so you make a new cube, grab it onto that, then change the size to the correct size, so 50, 50, 50. Uh, basically, each pixel is 6.25 centimeters in, uh, I don't know, cinema 4D, whatever, in the real world or something. But every 16 pixels is one meter, so if you divide it correctly, you should get um, one pixel is equivalent to 6.25 centimeters. So yeah, okay, so let's make BP, uh, it's going to be PUV edit, edit and select this tool right there. And then select all the polygons and open the texture. Let's open the same texture you loaded in and let's see the map it. So basically select that tool, it's important, then hit E on the keyboard, snapping, and then enable these two and that. That basically snaps it to the pixels. Uh, so for basic characters like these, um, you would use 3.125 centimeters. But for uh, characters for like uh, say like end dragons and all that stuff, you need to divide it slightly, like divide by two, then divide by two again, and maybe sometimes divide by two again to get that uh, to get a perfect UV mapping. So yeah. So now select all the polygons around, and then we want to go into non-uniform scale right there. And just scale it correctly onto that, like so. And that's the top. That's the left. Ah, oh, the right. The left. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> left. Getting confused. <laughs> Bottom. And the back. You should know how that looks. So yeah. So now we just snap perfectly, and we have a basic UV mapping. I forgot to mention, once you've done the UV mapping, go to the BPU edit and go into file and close all textures. Otherwise, um, as you can see the textures here, and you need to close it, otherwise the alpha channel will be all messed up and you won't have alphas. And yeah, and now, as you can see, it's not working properly, but once you reload the texture, it gets back to the alpha, so yeah, now it's working. Um, so let me show you something. Uh, so we have the uh, I loaded in the armor. Basically, what you can do is you can just drag it onto that, and it will come on. Um, with the UV mapping. And yeah. So the next thing we want to do is the apple, and let's load in the texture of the apple. So yeah. So we'll quickly load it in. Copy and paste and black. And black. Okay, let's make a plane, and basically what you want to use is the resolution is 16 by 16, it tells you right there, and you want to just basically do that on the plane. So, each pixel is 6.125 centimeters, so you want to hit 16 times 6.25, and yeah, it does the math for you. Um, so the time, the time symbol is basically the shift 8. Thing, uh, shift 8, just hit shift 8 and you get that times symbol and then the segments are the pixels and then change this to negative z and then uh, divide this by 2 so slash 2 otherwise it'll, it won't be the correct size for your character and it will, yeah just, just divide by 2 and press E enable move tool disable and now you should be able to move it by holding shift it up and grab the apple down and uh, yeah now you can see that it's all perfectly aligned to the uh, sides uh, edges whatever 
and now let's get into front view so function f4 or f4 okay windows computer and go load go load shading <laughs> i never learned how to say that properly and make it editable and now let's edit it so let's select um all the polygons that have the texture on it uh, i do not explain it but yeah just slip on oh. And make sure you don't miss out anything, otherwise we're gonna go back and be like, no. <laughs> I, that's happened to me a lot of times. So yeah. Now select invert, and now invert it, and just delete the unwanted stuff like so. And now, uh, yeah. Now let's uh, optimize it so we don't have unnecessary polygons by selecting it and dissolving it. So how do you dissolve is you right click and dissolve. But I have a shortcut key. So if you're going to customization commands and hit dissolve. Oh, uh, like so. We can add a shortcut key. So basically type in the shortcut key you want. So shift key is open and if it's not open, they will warn you before you, you click OK. So don't worry. And uh, if you want, you can overwrite it, but uh, yeah. And then add, hit add and it should be there. And now when you hit shift D, it'll automatically dissolve it for you. Uh, it, it's a hot key, so yeah. If you select everything at once, it doesn't work like that. Sometimes it does work, but you need to go little by little, otherwise it, the textures do not get messed up. So yeah, let's just do that quickly. quickly. And yeah. Okay, so now we want to go into the edge tool, edge select and right click and optimize so we did we get rid of all those unwanted edges and go back into front view and select these uh, edges right there not not the edges like the ones that are at the edge really <laughs> otherwise if you delete that it does that so we want to delete these ones right there so i'm going to quickly speed it up Okay, once you've selected everything, just delete it, and we have the optimized apple. So now select the, uh, the polygon, and let's right click and extrude. So now we want to go into the settings and off preserve groups, create caps, and 3.125, and yeah, enter. And now we have it extruded, like so. And now we want to, uh, if you render it, you can see it's yeah it's not it's not there so to fix that um let's go ul oh, no not like that go into bp edit oh. and then go into camera uh function f3 to go into side view and just select these polygons like so and let's load in that apple texture we got png uh items and apple Okay, so now let's move it. Oh, I need to get the snapping. Ah. Okay, move that like that to the side. Um, then the left side, right side, left side, like that, and move that like that. And then let's get to the top, front, no, not the front, top. It doesn't work at all models. You need to do it. You need to put it on you manually sometimes. And the bottom, I'll show you what I mean. Oops, select the bottom. And go to startup. Uh, oh, not back in startup. But now you can see the sides and everything is good, but some of them are still not good. Um, so like this one right here. You, uh, If you do this, you'll be mapping. You will be understand what I'm doing right now. Uh, most of you would understand what I'm doing right now. So, yeah. Now we have everything perfect. Perfect for the user map. And let's get back into startup. And we got the apple. Yay! <laughs> Once the apple is done, you can do the same thing. You can load it with the gold apple or whatever. The same things for the tools and stuff. And... Okay, so what we can do is use this. So mesh command subdivide by 3 so let's copy that and let's go into a new one paste that in like so let's load it, ah let's get into the middle 
and press E, enable 3.125, move it up, like so, and let's now select the hair. Once you selected the hair, let's uh, invert it, select inward, oh, some points then. Um, okay. Okay, so the next thing we want is the hard nub. So let's select, let's go into window customization commands and type in cloth, and we should have cloth nubs here. So uh, I, I don't know where to find it on the Cinema 4D thing, so I'm just gonna just search it on that. Then grab in the cube and uh, grab the hair into that, and then zero out the subdivisions and change the thick thickness to 3.15 divided by 2, like so. That's how, how thick I make the hair. Uh, so you can you can make it thicker if you like, and then hit C on the cloth nubs and make it so that now it's editable, like so. And now it's optimized it to make it flatter. So right now it's not pretty, it's not too flat, but we can change that by optimizing it by doing the that dissolve thing. So let's do that. But make sure you don't mess up the textures, like I said before. So we go slow. Uh, I'm gonna speed it up. So yeah. Okay, so that took a lot longer than I expected, uh, but okay, let's get back to the So now what you want to do is select the inside bit and just delete it. So just delete it, and yeah, so now we got it. Uh, yeah, uh, good. Um, now, let's do the same for these, right here. Um, so select that. And like that, shift D, and then these, shift D. Okay, so I've done that now, and now let's just go to the edge mode and just optimize it like so. And now we'll go into BP UV Edit and select the bottom. I'm uh, going to be and then we with the bottom and just select everything. Like so. Pull it up. Like so. Oh, I have unwanted polygon here. So let's just get that, get rid of that. And now go back into that mode. Like that. Move it correctly. Like that. It, it would be better if you snap it, otherwise it's going to not look as uh, perfect. But it's just very, very small detail. It's no one will see it, but I love to be perfect. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's more of a, more of a, a curse than a good thing for me, because I cannot finish a single. Uh, thing without thinking it's not done, so I cannot finish anything. Like, I would keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Okay, so once you've done all that, I think we're good. Oh no, not just it, not just We only need to delete these unnecessary edges, and then we're good. So, speed up. Okay, so we've deleted all this unnecessary stuff, and now we got this optimized hair. Um, so now you can just add it to your character, and there'll be no lag. <laughs> um, there'll still be some lag, but yeah. Object information, and we got only 63 points and 56 polygons. So normally that would be like 200 or something like that. And yeah, so thanks for watching, and bye.